Welcome to the cursed adventures of House Martin, where George himself is slaying every one of our goddamn family members. Because that's the only explanation I've got now for some of the massive losses we've incurred this series. Poor Jeremy Strong, murdered on the orders of mild pain. Poor HP Lovecraft, murdered on the orders of well, HP Lovecraft. Perkin Martin, died in personal combat, died of a lingering wound. When was the last time we ever had someone die of old age? I don't think we ever have. <laughs> this is absolutely mind-blowing. Um, Master on the Gutless died of a disagreement with a meal. Have we genuinely not had a single character with... Wow, that's insane. Who's died of old age? No way. Died of lingering rune, died of complications, cancer. Natural death. We've had one character. Dontos. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, here we are on our God knows how many, how many characters. Back with King... HG, as in Wells, of the Rock of House Martin. We didn't get to finish the War for the Reach, because of course we were slain mid-battle, so that war has completely ended. All we got to show for yesterday was King's Landing, which, don't get me wrong, is still pretty good. Not really where we wanted to be. Oh, and we got a trade post, don't forget, in King's Landing. Your nephew, King Mortimer Martin, has died. One of the greatest characters we're ever going to see in Game of Thrones, in potentially CK2. Insanely good character, incredible traits across the board. Got the Grey Plague and then died in personal combat. Oris Silverhill. Oh my god, it was one of our vassals that killed him. He's acted dishonorably towards us. No one will care. Was that during the Vassal Rebellion? The Great Vassal Rebellion that we died? Wait, no, we do have the Reach, don't we? No, no, no. We should still have the Reach. I think it's just because... Actually, I don't know why it is. Well, hopefully the Reach will come back under us anyway. But yeah, we finished that war. We, we died in the war against our rebellious vassals, all of which are going in to our prison. You can see all of our rebellious vassals right here. They will pay for the death of H... No, Mortimer. They will pay for the death of Mortimer. Mark my goddamn words. We're going to host him the greatest feast the realm has ever seen. I'm going to invite them to the funeral so they can stand and see what they've done to our dynasty. Pay off his debt. Um... Is this the one to the bank? I'll, I'll pay it off. People were saying yesterday when we looted the bank in Mir that that would count as having withdrawn a debt, which I don't think is very fair. Um, basically, we either had to pay it off or they were going to send a faceless man after us, which is a bit garbage because what the hell is the point of looting the bank anyway? Um, burn the apostate. Sure, burn her. There's a, there's a possibility. Oh, she was a Baratheon. There's a possibility that she could... Uh, that, that she could have been one of the many members who rose up against us. Let's go out. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wait. We can buy... Oh, cool. Fires of the Freehold. Maybe for the dragon taming chance? I'm not sure if that is the case. Oh, it is. Okay. If anybody's going to get themselves a dragon, this guy now stands a much larger chance. We got plus 300% just from our books there. Okay, this could be pretty good. Bear in mind that this, once again, will be another generation where we are not getting the Targaryen bloodline because the previous character we were marrying ourselves off to to get the Targaryen bloodline uh, obviously died. So, unless we can dig her up. She was uh, the, one of the Martins beyond the wall. Uh, was it Dennis's? Yeah, Alara. That's a plot to rescue from prison. Um, arrange can we arrange a patrol of a character imprisoned? Who's she imprisoned by? Lord Joseph of Last Hearth. Shit. Why is she in prison? She was the one I'm pretty sure that we had arranged the marriage between. Um, oh, no, she's not. She hasn't got a martial education. Oh, maybe I didn't give her a martial education in hindsight. Um, well, there are some other characters we can marry him off to who, who carry the Targaryen or not. Uh, what's the Targaryen bloodline, chief? Oh, no. This is a separate branch of the dynasty entirely. These are the blood of Garth Greenhand. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go ahead and trace back our dynasty right back to the starting boy, OG George Martin himself. And then from there, we should be able to... Uh, okay, Martin, Martin, George. There he is. Right, show me the Targaryen bloodline. And then we should, from there... Oh, God, we'll have to go to him first. Should, from there... What? <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Oh, right, because we had to breed the Targaryens out, didn't we? I remember. Right, Targaryen bloodline. Who has that that is relatively close to our son's age? Um... What about Tarian? Oh, she was the one that we... Yeah, there she is. Wait. That's a bit fucked up. She worshipped the many-faced gods, and then our character just happens to die in, like, three different ways. That's very convenient, isn't it? 
Hmm. Okay, I, I see a, I, I see a, I see a potential thing going on there. Right, anyway. Let's marry off matrilineally. No prestige check. Oh, fuck off. Why do you get to decide that queen of the veil? Do you think we could invite this woman to our court? Send, send gift. Uh, that even work? No, it didn't. Uh, invite to court. Not a chance. By a favor. Not a chance. Possible to get to our court because she's a relative of... Oh my god, right, she's the daughter of the Queen of the Veil. Vale. Oh, piss. And look at our current character. Good lord. Flamboyant schemer, fat poet, slothful, charitable, erudite, humble, paranoid, and depressed. Great, what a fantastic character. You know what? I was actually genuinely just gonna, uh, special activity. Oh, that's the funeral, isn't it? I might, I know this is somewhat abusing game mechanics, but, uh, well, it's not really, given that they, there are obviously big mechanics by base design. I genuinely might ki kill off King H.G. of the Rock early on so that we can just start playing as Gunter early on and then marry the Targaryen girl and also have a much longer time frame to play this character and develop this character and turn him into a good character. E even if we try everything, he's not going to be that great. But I feel like the game owes us one here. And if H.G. is the one that we have to kill off to secure that, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead with it. Spend lavishly on food. We'll use this big feast... To, oh god, legalize prostitution. Uh, sure, whatever. Um, we'll have this feast. And then after that's over, hopefully the opinion we get from that, we can we can off HG Wells and play as Gunsa, and then the opinion of Predecessor won't be so crippling. I'll also dish out a, a, the, the realm's worth of gold to just about everybody too, in the hopes that uh, in, in the hopes that we can avoid some of the negative vassal opinion. Goodbye, HG. Now we'll play as Gunsa for hopefully. Hopefully, as long as we possibly can. The county of Oakenshield was too far away from your capital. An up to peasant named Lord Allen of Oakenshield. What, this one here? Too far away from my land? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, well, whatever. We can take that back. Prince King, I should say. Gunter of the Rock. Let's go ahead and immediately go for rulership. Let's immediately go for anything that's going to make our guy a more beloved ruler. We have a lot of negative vassal opinion to deal with. First things first, let's get coronated. Well, obviously, assume the mantle of George. Then get coronated. Only the high septum is fit to crown me. Let's see if we can immediately get... Ah, here we go. If we can get brave... Oh, we've already got brave. Nice. Iron stomach would be quite good. Nothing. No bonus health for us. We could really do with that, given that some of these fucking carrots have died off in no time at all. I'm going to make this guy the greatest Martin who's ever lived. This is the story of Gunsir. Greatest Martin. Excluding, perhaps, George. Ah! 225 gold. If we do that, we can't afford the fucking... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ransom all the prisoners out, then. Go on. Uh, what about you? Can all 60 gold? He was a Brathian, so that might have been a questionable decision. Right, get out of here. Very well. Uh, an extravagant ceremony. Oh, dear. This is very expensive. I'm not going to fund anybody's journey to the wall. Not right now. The King of Dawn is going to come to our rent. I should say Prince of Dawn, even though he is an independent king now. For whatever reason, he's still gone by Prince. Elro Martin, the Baratheons, the Farmans, the Laddles, the Lelfords, the Galices, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Um, I'm sure we have much to share. Oh, wow. Uh, two learning and 30 piety for free. I'll take it. Oh, now what's his base learning? Seven. So we can dish out seven points. Obviously, it would take us years to do it, but I'm going to dish some points into Marshall. What's this guy like? Oh, we can also buy a knighthood there. Don't have the points for it necessary. Um, it might be better to go all into diplomacy. What do you think? A nice stable round for a generation? I think we'll probably go for that instead. And half our vassals love us for being brave. Half our vassals hate us for being brave. Fine. I'm finally truly king. Vassal putting plus ten. That might slightly help improve relations. Oh, God. I think that's made things worse. I don't know how, but we've made things worse. It's obviously the, yeah, lack of funds minus 30. Well, when that's tidied up, it's going to be minus 39. It's going to be our lowest vassal opinion. A little bit of ruling carefully, a little bit of ensuring that our Master of Laws is doing a good thing for us there. Shouldn't have much to worry about. I want to bribe our Spy Master. I want to make him a little less likely to have us fucking killed. Uh, can I give you an artifact? We can only give out books. The books of books. Uh, it's plus 15 opinion. Yeah, take it. I don't want that. I mean, it's it's not much of an opinion, but it's better than nothing, obviously. Let's make King's Landing our crown focus. Have I got anything else I can give out? Any minor titles, any honorary titles, just anything that'll keep... There we go, that'll do. Um, this is all a bit folly, isn't it? None of these none of these are going to make much of a difference here. There, that actually puts them in positive opinion. That's something. Oh, that's why they want someone to rule the Stormlands. I don't want to give it to him. But if we say no to him, we are going to have to very quickly find a way to resolve this. He's a traitor. He will not object. He's saying maybe. Let's try and encourage him to say yes. 
So I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my master arms there. Not that that will really affect things besides the rest chance, but that might be relevant naturally. Um, let's deal with this peasant revolt first and foremost, so then we'll go and deal with that. But basically, I'm gonna stand all our troops there, and I'm gonna basically get revocation of Storm's End, both the the duchy and the county. Then we'll give the Stormlands to a well-deserved Martin instead. All right, there we go, hundred percent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I just revoke the um? If we could just revoke the uh, Lordship of... Okay, he's still saying maybe. All we need is Storm's End. We don't need Crackle or Baron. We don't need the Duchy. We don't, we don't need anything. We just need a landed title to give to a Martin to make him Lord of the Stormlands. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Ah, uh, what? Someone just declared war for their claim on the Stormlands. Os Oswell? Where is he? Down in the Stepstones. Okay, 34,000 men. Well, thank God we just happen to have all of our armies marching on the Stormlands. Isn't that a nice coincidence? Now we can... No, we weren't revoking titles. We were preparing for this war plot that we heard about because we are a psychic ruler. And who better to rule the throne than a man who sees all? Oh. Imprison him. Then because he's a traitor, we revoke Storm's End and he can't complain. Then... We grant it to a Martin. Holy shit. Because that guy's relative declared war on us. We are now able to set up a Martin. That's so good. Should we give it to Rupert or should we give it to Albin? Let's give it to Rupert. Grant landed title. Um, give him Storm's End. Or yours. Grant landed title. Kingdom of the Stormlands. Can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got to deal with the thing first. Okay. Deal with that. Then we'll grant it to him. And then we'll release Tristan Baratheon free. And then he won't give a shit. Well, he will obviously care that we imprison him. But he can't do anything because then his... Direct liege will be our my mother to her son. Yeah, that seems like a fair uh, alliance. Seems like a good way to keep the kingdom of the reach complacent, if nothing else, getting on aggression pact. Um, don't care about dragons too much. Where are they landing? It looks like they're landing in Kin's Landing. Yeah. Okay, there we go. The High Septon fabricated a claim on my title. <laughs> you bitch. I guess he's trying to go for King's Landing. I wonder if the bank. I, I know we paid off our debt, but I, I wonder if one of our enemies maybe maybe funded this guy the same way someone funded us to take the the, the Westerlands all those years ago. What am I supposed to do then? Am I supposed to just wait for this guy to keep dropping troops off in King's Landing? That's annoying. Okay. I don't know why he's not sending a sole army. He's got 250 ships and he's sending them 4,000 men at a time. So he could be here for quite a long time. God, what a what a weird idea. I don't know why he's picking up his troops 3,000 at a time when quite clearly he's got a much, much bigger army than that. 87%. Then, in theory, we can land a Martin in the Stormlands. Uh, great. I don't care about the dragons. Thank you. Not right now, anyway. Not unless it's me flying them. And this, hopefully, will be the end of the damn war. Uh, ah, oh, Septon Joffrey's opinion. Oh, great. The, the random Septon likes us. Great news. Okay, done. Now we should be able to grant out the Kingdom of the Stormlands to... There we go. Boom. Nice. Lord Paramount Rupert of the Stormlands. Then our prisoners can go free. Goodbye. Actually, no. The ransom him out first. Let's be let's be sensible here. And then I gotta make sure this guy has all of the. When we click on the storms, it's done that twice now. I mean, no, it's always because this is retinue there. Got it. Um, I want to make sure everybody is shuffled under this new ruler. So the Danes of Torrentine. I want to give those to him, but I don't know if we can here. Uh, Fair Isle, Gold Road. Now they're in the Westerlands. We can't, unfortunately. Okay. Well, let's wait for their water and then I'll tidy up this. Pretty fucking hideous map mode. Oh, nice. Train fights already. That was pretty quick. All I did was change his... Um, so, so we gained the other one in that in that tournament. I guess just fighting on tournaments is worth it. But all I've done is set up to improve combat ability here. Oh, we've succeeded. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. I was kind of hoping we'd get a little bit higher than that. Become a knight probably couldn't hurt. Um, remember every... I'm not going to say it. Because every time I've said it, the characters immediately died. But there is a particular ambition that might end up in us gaining a bloodline. Now, I'm not going to say this guy can do it because I'm almost certainly convinced now that we're never going to be able to do it, no matter what I do. It's it's impossible. I'm pretty sure they've taken out of the game and they're killing off our characters so that we don't notice because there's no other reason to explain why all our characters are dying. However, there is a possibility that this guy may or may not forge a bloodline at some point. Let's hold a tournament. Uh, let's have a grand tournament. Basically, just get everybody on our side and then we can go on a tour as well. Um, oh, the only one we've got is Royal Progress, right? Because we're an Empire level type. Bollocks. That's a shame. All right, never mind then. We'll go ahead and untick, uh, go on a tour for now. But the problem with this is right now, it, we can't create the Iron Throne because the Iron Throne technically still exists because Lazar hold the title of the Iron Throne and they still have titles in the Iron Throne, if that makes sense. Um, should we climb on Dragonstone? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. I'd love to get everything they own. 
the best way to do that, honestly, would be Fabricate Clam on Dustumbry, Fabricate Clam on Hammerhall, on Hayford, on all of it, and press it in one war, because we do not want to be dragged into five or six wars on single titles for a guy who could quite literally incinerate us in one click of a button. I would rather avoid that. So if we're going to try and take back these titles from Lazar, which I think should be our next play, let's go ahead and fabricate on each one separately and then take the whole thing in one swoop. Could we maybe grab Harrenhal here? Oh, that's a shame. That one's a swoop and we could get that. What about the Trident? Have we got any claims on there? Um, man, that'd be good, but they're too small, aren't they? Yeah, they need to be less than 31. Um, got Rayonet Sal's Horn. Neither of which are really worth an international conflict. We could try and revoke some titles. We could land someone like like this guy, for example, and get Wayfarer's Rest. Um, how big is Wayfarer's Rest? It's significant. It's like three provinces. Man, maybe we should go for Dawn first, seeing as that seems like the next sensible option to me. Bear in mind, they are right there. Take that and then move north. I've learned my lesson. Basically, I'm going to make sure that we... Um, why is he my fucking successor now? Jeremy Strong... Oh, oh, right, because we haven't had any kids yet. Ugh. Sorry, I was thinking what happened to the person that we betrothed off to the Targaryen. I, of course I know him. He's me. Uh, let's assign you a guardian then. What was she, why is she in our court? Oh, she's just one of our very distant kinsmen. Got it. We might as well educate her then, get a little bit of opinion. So rather than go for any massive invasions or any foreign wars like the one with me yesterday or, or risk anything along those lines, I want to make sure the realm is stable before we really go nuts. Before we do anything else, no major expansion, no taking big swaths of land. We're just going to sit here and we're going to be the world's greatest diplomat. We're going to hold every feast. We're going to go on every hunt. We're going to hold every single tournament. And hopefully, we'll be able to straighten this. Because bear in mind, we've had multiple successes now that have had that the, the vassals have had an awful opinion of. And with each one dying so soon after the last one, that negative opinion is stacking up more and more and more and higher and higher. So I need to be very careful that we don't end up just being deposed, essentially. We've got another Crown Loyalist right now. Apparently that guy that we revoked the title from is also a Crown Loyalist. What the fuck? We've won him over again. I'm glad that didn't get rid of him because he's a very powerful vassal that we can't do much with. Um, so it would make more sense to try and win him over rather than try and fuck him over and have it backfire. At the feast, Lord Tybalt cut the throat of one of the servants when the clumsy man spilled Moorish fine wine, fire wine, all over his garb. 50% chance of becoming just, though. We'll piss off our vassals. I know I said we specifically want to impress our vassals here. Piss them all off, but if we gain just, it's a negative for now, but in the long term, we'll pay off massively. Plus, you get the bonus from them attending the feast anyway. Oh, that's a shame. We pissed them off and have nothing to show for it. That's a bit of a shame, but that's alright. Um... Sure, let's gain compassionate, plus one diplomacy as well. Uh, 25% chance to get an arbitrary if we say Lord Tristan is killed, not killed. He's not. Okay, we didn't get just, we didn't get arbitrary either. We pissed off some of our vassals, but we've impressed others. Not ideal. Obviously, just would have been the ultimate outcome there. Then we'd actually have something to show for this whole occasion. Could release him. 50 opinion. Fuck it, release him. I think we've got higher opinion now that he's been in our prison than he was before. Oh, look at that. Every vassal gains 15 opinion because of our high stewardship. This option is available due to your high stewardship skill. No. No, I've got to disagree with you there. I don't think I don't think our lowest skill of eight should be considered high stewardship. And maybe that's just me, huh? Um, oh, Lord Paramount Stormlands loves us. Lady Paramount of the Reach basically loves us. We made her spy master. She'd love us even more. Oh, look at that. We've given her a lot of power, so I've got to make sure we keep her one over. Not for 600 fucking dollar reduce, she won't. Um, grant royal privilege. Annoy all the other... She, she gets to call herself Queen then, basically. Um, and it will piss off our other Lord Paramounts who don't get it. We lose 200 prestige, but... I mean, it's 25 opinion. I'm not going to bother with that. No, that's, that seems like a slippery slope to basically denouncing ourselves. Although we're making a small fortune as well, it would be kind of prudent, I think, to start building up King's Landing. Though it's got all these very, very unique and powerful buildings, it's still not quite as good as Rosby. Actually, that's not true. Look at the fucking tax on the place. My God. Oh, someone pointed it out yesterday as well. When we took King's Landing, all of the subholdings in King's Landing went independent. So what we need to do is get a retinue together, get our armies over there, and basically... Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Could I have a retinue, please? Uh, 375. Fine. Go for that one. There we are. Uh, need a bit more gold, but we'll retake everything that we should have in King's Landing anyway. To be honest, I'd love to be able to take it for us personally so we could hold the, the subkeeps and the Dragon's Gate and things like that. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. Just had to fight in two tournaments. So we are now a knight as well. Very cool. What did I actually do again? Um, Handle Dornish, Faith of the Seven, Church Opinion, Attraction Opinion. Oh, that's actually not too bad then, is it? The Faith of the Seven Opinion plus two. It's not massive, but it, again, it's, it's all adding up little by little. Um, Paragon of Virtue. 2,000 piety. That's going to be fucking impossible. 
See the realm prosper. I said with this guy, we would sit here and we would obviously make sure that the realm is, is in a great place diplomatically. I think seeing the realm prosper, ensuring ensuring a, a new age of wealth and stability, and definitely not having my character killed before the age of 30, would be ideal for the realm. So we're going to sit here and uh, piss off our vassals by being brave, apparently. So why don't we declare war on all of these sites simultaneously? Declare war, King's Landing Holdings, thank you. Uh, they're surely under their obligations, and he's got a thousand fucking men. How the hell did he pull that off? How has he got more troops from the sub than we've got in the bloody red keep right now? Right, let's do this for every single one of these. Oh, looks like my troops rose now. Hang on. I knew I was doing that for a reason. Bear with me. Right, okay, back to you, Tristan Tarth. I will be taking King's Landing Holdings. I don't know if we get them. I don't I don't ever remember. I don't know if we get them or whether or not they just become vassalized. Either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, Hi, Septon. I'm going to go to war on you. Can I not? Can't do that. Damn it, that's annoying. I was kind of hoping we could... Uh... We could take it and then get ourselves a vassalized High Septum instead. If, there, if we can find a way to vassalize him, I'll absolutely try and do it. That would be super, super helpful. Um, the Kingsguard are independent. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why are the Kingsguard independent? And then we've got Fleabottom as well. Um, oh, the same dude holds both of those. Oh, bollocks. Oh, but it's it's a holding war, isn't it? It's for both of the same holding. We're fine. Okay, everybody to King's Landing. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll honor that. Uh, yeah, thank you. I really just don't fucking ever bother me during war. Are those the Kingsguard there? 3,270 Kingsguard? What? Um, Lord Paramount Rupert of the Stormlands is going to war against House Dane for his lands that I can't grant. That's fine. Um, my dear Uncle Kulu, it's money with the promise. Oh, I have just the person in mind. This first random woman who popped up. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um... What's he declaring war for then, genius? Claim on Rosby. Yeah, good luck with that when you prick. How's he got a claim on Rosby? Claim on the Lordship of Rosby. Uh, was he... Was he a Martin? I mean, he's got a lot of cool stuff, but he's definitely not a Martin. How has he done that? 26,000 men? Okay, okay, okay. We need to deal with that now before they get any moral authority. How's the High Septon building an army bigger than most of my Lord Paramounts? What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. Well, we can change our ambition, by the way, to win a war. Because, of course, I declared war immediately. Um, gain World Marshal 50 Prestige. Then after that, after we take him back to King's Landing, then maybe we'll go back to peace. But this is obviously a very essential thing. We can't just have a load of random lords refusing to pay tax or refusing to bend the knee to the king of everything. In his own capital. That doesn't set a good precedent, does it? Clamp of the nines. Get out of here. Right, there's one down. Um, oh, level of 19 with 11,000. Good God. Okay. Uh, this could take some time. Please bear with me. Two down. Now for the White Sword Tower. Goodbye, Kingsguard. And then finally, we've got Flea Bottom, which is going to take a long ass time. We are just vassalizing them. Um, so this guy has fucked off. Lord Commander Arrow of the Kingsguard is just gone. Uh, is he allowed to do that? Is he allowed to leave and take the whole King's Guard with him? Okay, fair enough. Um, we get white. I look at me. I am the King's Guard now. Oh, there's a dragon in the capital. No. No, he can't do it. He's not going to do it. Just stop him. This The man's only 24. Not again is this game going to slay one of our people. But how can he resist the urge? The dragon has a fucking name. Valor on the Light Claw. Oh no. Taming chance. Oh! You're mine. Slay the beast. You're mine. Oh, oh no. You'll never learn. <laughs> You'll never learn. Burn. Diplomacy minus four. Diplomacy minus. Can we buy a mask? Oh, we can. Oh, never mind. It's okay. Now we look mysterious. My sister to marry King Lucas the Andal of House Florin. Of new gifts. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. Um, This is totally not a complete fucking mess. Septon Adam tried to face the dragon. And he straight up died. Th that could have been us. That could have been us. It still can be us because I'm going again. That's the issue. Dragons are like wasps. If you show fear, you will never be able to ride them into battle. Don't slay it. You are mine. No. Oh, ah. Okay, just wounded, just wounded, just wounded. Oh, okay. It's all right. It's fine. You got to take these gambles. If you want victory, you got to take a gamble. Boom, and there is the last of 
The Iron Throne dealings. Good shit. So we've got everything back under... There we are. Dragon's Gate, King's Gate, White Sword, Tower. Good good work. Good work, everyone. Right, let's go ahead and... Good lord, that's a lot of money. Let's go ahead and build up our retinue now. So I'm going to focus all this gold on uh, b basically just establishing a, a better foothold in King's Landing. Things like the forces. Build those up. We'll try and hang on to these, these uh, castles as well. Mainly because... I want the I like the the extra the the extra uh, retinue size that's pretty massive especially that one's already got the massive force in it. Um this one's only got Oh right okay let's go for a higher castle town level. But I'm just going to spend every last penny we have from now on on King's Landing. No he wouldn't. He wouldn't. No. Oh! Okay. It's okay we're already wounded. It, we're already wounded it's fine. Please let me eat your tasty food it'll cancel out wounded. Uh iron stomach. Didn't get it again, bollocks. No. You are, you are, you are. No. Oh. <laughs> it just gives us the same injury over and over and over and over. I was going to say we're playing with fire, but I feel that's quite obvious. Look, either we're going to come away from this a dragon rider or not at all. I mean, that's not true. Someone else might capture the dragon. In fact, I think someone else has actually captured the dragon. Um, Good. The new princess of dawn is being a, a big shit. Um, good shit annexation. Can we negotiate an annexation with, like, what is that there? Kingdom of Harrenhal? Oh, Kingdom of the Trident. Oh, shit. The Baratheons have taken back some land then, huh? Fuck. That's insane. Uh, what about the North? They're also an empire? Yeah, everything's just completely splintered. I love the fact that there is a King Dennis Martin beyond the wall. And if he dies... Oh, wait. If he dies, our dynasty are getting it... Are they getting it regardless? They're going to have to go and act seniority. Oh, shit. That's cool. So we're going to get this under the Iron Throne when the, when this guy dies. That's fantastic. Oh, no. The dragon is still in King's Landing. It's just that we were away. Got it. Got it. Got it. Where are we now? Um, that's the city of King's Landing. Ready and ready keep King's Landing. Can we face the dragon again? Someone else? Do they see the dragon? We can't do it anymore. Uh, maybe it flew off. Probably because we're wounded, right? No, we fought it, but we, we fought it before when we were wounded. We're going to see if leading troops will help refresh it. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> huh. He's doing it again. Bring it. Ah! Fucking my god. Please. Just give me the dragon. Just give me the dragon. What's the point of him even wearing the helmet? Oh shit, we actually won a tournament. Wow, we've actually got 75 personal combat now. How have we picked up so much so quickly? Oh, well, the book gives us plus five. Um, oh, Plata and the Dornish Spear. Right, okay. I always forget that we get just 30 by by inheriting all of our artifacts. And then the train fighter gives plus one. Oh no. It's still here. Oh, wow. Your grace, his grace, our grace, Emperor Belagor has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now is heir, Mayris. Uh, who is Mayris? Mayris of Lazar. And his heir is Geheron the Laughing Dragon. Was he not the one married off to a Martin? Who did we marry a Martin off to? Siblings. Bail all the Tom. I swear we married a Martin off to someone, did we not? Maybe it didn't go anywhere. Evidently not. That's a shame. I care not for this foreign emperor. I mean, we should because he's got our bloody title. And at long last, an heir has been secured for this throne. I feel a little less bad about fighting the dragon constantly if we're able to maybe pass it on to a... a maybe, as long as we've got a decent heir set up. That's what I care about. I don't want to die and then have... What? Jeremy, Jeremy Strong? Oh, he's actually not too bad. I should make sure he's got a good guardian. His guardian's okay. He certainly could be a lot better. Let's see if we can find a better educator for this kid. Um, but yeah, making sure obviously that we've got plenty of kids lined up would definitely be a lot better because at the speed we're getting through characters without replacing them with other characters is staggeringly high. This guy's actually pretty good. Kind, charitable, gregarious, brave. You'll do. Um, Master Giles of Flea Button tried to catch the dragon. This is just going to be constant, isn't it? It's going to be constant until we've managed to stop the fucking thing. What we could do is construct a flagship. Those give, uh, plus, is it plus one martial, yeah, 150 prestige and 0 0.5 monthly piety. What was that prestige? Whatever. Um, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, I mean, it's just a free march at the end of the day. Sure, every few years we have to maintain it, which costs a few hundred gold. But it's a permanent plus one marshal, essentially, because obviously that will inherit down to our dynasty members as well. What are we going to build here, then? A uh, barber surgeon probably wouldn't go miss, although if we've gotten a capsule, it makes no difference. That one gives 400 heavy infantry. Oh, that one for the morale of armies, celebrity reinforcement rate, though, is pretty good. That one's building the small force still. That one's building moderate force. You're building the castle town. Can we ever see construction? Is that really our best master of coin? I might upset one of our dukes here to hire someone somewhat better. I genuinely thought it said Potato Archon of Carth. Brilliant. Um, Tyrion, join me. 
He was a good man. Join me, and you can be my master of coin. That's never gone wrong in the past, I'm sure. Right, get to... No, no, no. Uh, obviously construction. Get to it. Oh, and of course the stonemason guild. We got a master stonemason. Uh, gold. Winter reserves. Skilled stonemason. Still minus 15, minus 15. But I don't think we've seen anything but a skilled stonemason this time around, have we? Nella Mallory, you need to stop. She's been burnt and wounded, just like her. She's like our top rival for trying to tame the dragon. I want to make sure that we've got uh, all of the books equipped correctly. Uh, so yeah, we've got that one. We've got... Uh... What was the other dragon book we got? Fires of the Freehold, right. Are there anything else that give it? The best way to check is if we go to the Citadel and check the Maester of the Citadel. Dragons, okay, so we've got Dragons, Worms, and Wyverns. The other is Fire of, Th Fire of the Freehold. So if we find anything else that gives dragon taming, we need to get, we need to grab it as soon as possible. Um, Courtier, let's suppose rank. Okay, that didn't do anything at all. Oh, there's an Archmaester there, hang on. Uh, what about you? You've, you've surely got some books here. Uh... Nothing. A bunch of links. Rubbish. I want to I, I want to maximize our chance, but unlike catching Dragon Ace, there are really no ways besides being traditionally a dragon riding a dragon riding fella. Which, of course, next generation will hopefully nail. In fact... No, you're Jeremy Strong. Fuck off. Uh, in fact... Wait, oh, the child isn't born yet. Ooh, give it a minute. Um, oh, Lives of Four Kings. No, we don't need that one. If it had been a book on dragons, I could have been convinced. Edwin has the Targaryen bloodline again. I mean, that's something, isn't it? Excellent Master Builder. Oh, Master Builder is fantastic. And Gunsa is mastering the art of swordsmanship. Let's give you uh, to our character to educate. Where is our character? Oh, God. Um, oh, we've already got two wards. Oh, our wife. How could I forget? Sorry, we're still educating our wife. Give it a minute. There we are. Flamboyant Schema. Great. What a waste of fucking time. Anyway. Got the Targaryen bloodline back in the dynasty. So all of you have been complaining for the past 500 years. Should be pleased now that we have that going for us. If we don't get a dragon with Gunsa, we can definitely get it with Edwin. I also need to rename it. Who wrote lots of books about dragons? We've already had a Tolkien and a Martin. Or, or, or George Martin, obviously. So that doesn't really count. Let's write a fantasy book about dragon. What was that one guy who wrote the book about the dragon that was called like Aragon? Or Aragon? Or something like that. I've not actually read it personally. But I'm well aware that's a book that exists. Um... We'll name this kid after that, but I need to look up who actually wrote it first. Thought I got the wrong guy for a second, but no, this this dude actually published this book, Aragon, at the age of... Because I remember reading it, or at least seeing friends read it, when I was still in school. This guy wrote it in like 2003? Wow. He got a book published when he was 20, and what have I done? I've screamed at virtual characters for dying. Fucking hell. Okay, Edwin, we're going to call you Pow... Pow... Powellini? Powellini? Either way, there he is. Prince Paolini, that's a that's an incredible name. In honor of my good man, Christopher Paolini, who I've been assured is a good writer, according to Wikipedia, I'll tame a dragon for him. That'll 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 really make his career worthwhile. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is for you, Chris. Sorry, can I cut sorry, Mr. Mr. Paolini. Uh you're mine. This is it. We've got the power of Christopher flowing through us. <gasps> Fuck Christopher! Bollocks. No. <laughs> and it wouldn't be a completed episode if we hadn't lost yet another character. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm going to leave that one there uh, while I contemplate my fucking awful life choices. Thank you to Justin Rules for Kuna Vasquez, Peyton Denisar, Gogolus, Ninja Tree V, Bubka, Scorched, Nostrus, Layla, Chicken Wang, HD, Justin Wallace, Dante Mordition, James Shea, Asana Kirito and everyone else at the Insane Tier Lovers on Patreon for making the channel possible, especially during lockdown, because without these guys, none of us would be here. I mean, I'd still be here. I wouldn't be out doing much else, would I? Because social distancing and all that. Thank you. Also, I've got obviously clearly no transferable skills to anywhere outside of screaming at virtual characters dying. Thank you to Magister, Militum, Better Valerian, Nikki Sticks, Dion, Dranmere, Foosh, Nick, Sam Kears, Chittledur, Adrian Ellison, I am Sagatair, Super Nanny 089, Peanut Gorilla, Devorder, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for making the channel possible during lockdown period. Apologies that I'm averaging quite literally an out <laughs> a character per episode right now. <laughs>